So let's look at the user interface a little bit. We have three icons that you can rotate through. And they're basically uh, three different user interface paradigms. So we have the ST Microelectronics one here. We have an embedded wizard here. And we have a touch GFX uh, user interface here. All three are showing some similar applications and content and some different stuff as well. But uh, you get a different flavor of what you can do with this display and user interface. So in the case of the ST interface, we have a classic watch. We can go in here and look at different types of watch face. And there's lots of them. And it's, it's a very nice user interface. We can just scroll through with a circular scrolling motion and pick the one that we like. And it, of course, it has the uh, audio playing menu here. And it has the audio recording menu here. Let me go back. And then it has the uh, current measurement mode here, which is measuring the different modes. We're going to measure the power consumption or the current consumption of this device. And we're in run mode. So let's start. And it's drawing 3.24 milliamps in a run mode. So let's go to sleep mode and start. Eight hundred and eighty microamps in sleep mode. Wow. Low power run mode. Let's start that. Four hundred and thirty one microamps. That is low. Low power sleep mode. Two hundred and eleven microamps, even lower, and stop two mode. Three point two six microamps. Wow. Standby mode plus real time clock. Nine hundred and seventy micro or nanoamps, less than one microamp. Shutdown mode plus real time clock. Eight hundred and ninety nanoamps, also less than one microamp. So that's a bunch of different modes, and all of them are super low power. Even in run mode, it's only drawing three milliamps. And of course, the reset to, to the start. One button I missed was this little information button over here, which gets us right to the information screen. So the embedded wizard here has a four quadrant uh, user interface with the running with some running applications for uh, physiological monitoring and training uh, monitoring. It has the watch interface that we had before. Um, let's just see if we can get some other, and we can get lots of other watch faces here as well. And we have 
an information screen here, which has different information than the other screens or the other user interfaces. Okay, it takes a little getting used to to figure out what the control swipes are for each different user interface. So in the running mode, it has uh, a nice way to display percentage complete of something. I'm not exactly sure what. Well, let's go back into running mode and other screens. Well, we have heart rate monitor, obviously, with a beating heart and pulsing going on here and the beats per minute. We can also show the, the speed in kilometers per hour, the distance in kilometers, and the elapsed time in minutes. And I assume you could, this is just a demonstration, you could make these any units you like. And it's also demonstrating that you could show GPS position while you're running or, or exercising. And these are the developers, the third little screen. So that's a nice little interface. So that's the embedded wizard one and the GFX one is different again. They have the music and it's able to play music. <laughs> And they have the game and they have watches of their own and in this one we can scroll through different face types and when we find one we like we can expand it to cover the whole face and I'm starting to learn how to navigate Okay, so we have different watches, and then we have the measurement mode to measure the current consumption of this device. And it has icons here for the different modes. So this is the run mode, which we can measure at 3.2 milliamps. And then we can go to the sleep mode at 945 microamps and we can measure the low power run mode at 448 microamps and the low power sleep mode and the stop mode. Let's do the low power sleep Two hundred and nine microamps and the stop three point two microamps, that is zip standby with the real time clock active. Nine hundred and seventy nanoamps, less than one microamp, and shut down with the real time clock still active. Eight hundred and ninety nanoamps, even less. So those are the measurement modes, and. Next up is training, and we can do running, cycling, swimming, walking. So let's take a look at running, 
and we have the lap counter and the time and it's showing kilometers uh, heart rate and calories burned so here's cycling similar graphic but cycling this time and we've got the kilometers the, the heart rate and the calories burned and this one has some stats that you can bring up total time distance best lap time uh, maximum beats per minute of your heart the number of calories burned and altitude swimming again lap lap times and the usual uh, distance heart rate and calories burned and we've got stats on this one too the same sort of thing the number of strokes and walking similar interface the number of kilometers beats per minute calories and stats and this tells you the number of steps as well as the heart rate best lap time distance etc so running I don't know if we did stats on this one yep there's stats and this one tells you the number of steps as well and the big reset button 